Hello, Monsters of Anger, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3 and part 4. Part 4 of my Albion campaign as Jural. Did... Uh, yeah, that one, that guy. He's very shouty. Look at him. Intense. That's the face. Do you think he does his own woad, or does he get someone to do it for? The funniest thing, he walks out and he's just got like a little moustache and glasses painted on him. And everyone's laughing. He's like, oh, you guys. Not again. Anyway. Um, a little bit concerned we may have an invasion in five turns. Sure, we'll be fine. We'll, we'll walk it off. It's fine. We're, and we're going we're to go and beat up Wolfric a little bit. Rough him up. Let's show him who's boss. Because that's, that's what he likes. They like... Like the hot domination in Norska, they do. Or, I mean... Explains why they're wearing little pants, doesn't it? And basically nothing else, because it is going to be—it's going to be bitter out there. It's going to be very chilly, right? No reason to just be wearing a fur loincloth and some straps, unless you're into that kind of thing, which is fine. I just just think you should dress for the weather. That's all. I mean, the Chaos Warriors probably have it even worse because they're chilly, plus they're covered in plate armor. What happens when their bare little bottom touches the armoured arse piece of their... It's going to get st it's gonna get stuck there. Like, you know, you're licking an ice lolly and your tongue gets stuck like that. Not to mention the the front bottom. Can you imagine what happens there? Oh, just the thought of it. I don't like it. It's by the by, really, though, isn't it? Right, we're going to go and look for anyone in Cathay that's still alive. Oh, there's... um. There's these guys. He is at war with the Burning Wind Nomads, which is good to know. Your request? Anyone want to be friends? No, everyone's playing hard to get. God. How much money we're we making from trade? 830. I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's keeping me afloat, isn't it? Right, if we get an invasion in four turns, we'll know that's what triggers it. It's probably going to be a big invasion. Do I? Do I just fucking, do I just fucking go for it? Do I just fucking go? Do I just go and sack this? It's gonna be four big ones. The power of nature is yours. Indeed. Right, we're gonna go and bop that. I don't know where Wolfric is. If we take it, do we want to keep it? I don't know. Do right. Do we get Glenn back? I think we do. Glenn, you are back? I'm. Do I recruit you a couple of these lads? Ah, uh, they're expensive though, aren't they? They're really good though. Aren't they? Mm, yeah. Um, plus, once we've upgraded Albion a little bit more, we can get that big money building, which will give us a lot of money, which should solve some of our money problems, at least in the short term. Which is capitalism for you, isn't it? Invasion on route. Shit. Two turns. Uh, are, they go are they going to attack? I'm assuming they will attack Conquata. In which case we should be for- oh, Marienburg's dead. Yeah, fixing financial problems in the short term is basically capitalism, isn't it? If you think about it. You know, has, has the line gone up? Yes. That means I get to keep my high-powered job. Has it not? Ah, oh, rats. Well, at least I've got my golden parachute. Shame about the other 50% of the company they're cutting. Eeny, meeny, miny, that one. Ooh, a seed of rebirth. Do I want to take this? I don't know. Nah, go on. Go on then. What's the worst that can happen? Let me build some defences there. Fix that? Yeah. Um, I kind of want to run back and help. It might be fine. Let's make you hard to hit. You are going to get uh, more power. How much magic reserve? God, we got no winds of magic. Just fuck all. Yes. Absolutely bugger all. Nightmare. Monsters of the mist. I do like these. Yeah, I mean, basically that. May as well. Uh, we could... Oh, we can't put Woad on you because you are... Silence. Not. 
not thingy majig. Uh, right, those guys are going to be how much are they? Three something each. Three six four. Um, yeah, we can't really afford anyone else, can we? Commandment available. Uh, I guess let's go for growth. I, I'm, I'm hoping they spawn and come straight for Conquata. That would that would kind of make sense to me, right? It would it would make sense, right? Right? Everyone everyone on board with that? I I feel like everyone should be on board with that. Asso princess. Protector of the realm. Um I'm I going eeny meeny miny. I'm going to go and trade the with Iron you. Dragon's assistance will only be granted for good reason. Oh, you sell medicinal herbs. It's not a surprise. Hmm. Armored in faith. And Meowie. I'm going to trade with... You know what? I'm going to no trade with... Do hmm. I trade with the Jade Court? No. Um, tell you what, let's trade with the Northern Ready Provinces. Me, you have the Celestial Emperor's faith. Acceptable. Let's just Valiant do that. Lord. Get them on side. Also, you've kind of now done your job. So you can now sail back home. Because to be honest, I don't think there's anyone else we really want you to go and meet. I think we've met everyone that isn't going to try and murder us. At least, you know, aggressively, anyway. Okay. Um, how am I feeling about this? We've got one turn, more of a garrison. I'm I'm going to run back, just in case. I'm just a little bit nervous. Okay, we can upgrade you. And once we've got that, we can then get the special building, which is this one. It does cost 8k. But look at all the trade goods. That's trade goods and the money on top of that. And then in case, it's just, just a really nice economy building. Oh, so good. The trees tell me much. Delicious economy. Um, I mean, all right. I'll have a trade agreement with you. Yes. Uh, Kothik's dead. Right, you're going to sail back that way. Uh, what's this? It's green skins. Oh, that's, that's not that's not that's not very rainbow rhythms. Okay, with any luck, we can we can. God, I really wish settlements on. <coughs> <coughs> On islands like this. Just, why is this not a port? You've got other provinces, other settlements. It's, it's so close. It's so close to the fucking... It's closer than some cities with ports, for fuck's sake. Just make it a fucking port. Why isn't it a port? Quiet. Listen. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. We've got beefy garrison here. Um, so I think we should be okay. Plus we can we can rush reinforcements. Plus they're taking attrition as well, so um, could be could be worse. We're not building an outpost. In fact, in fact, don't tell me about outposts. All right. If I want to build an outpost, I'll let you know. Hmm. All right. How much of a garrison do we have here? Is that worth upgrading? Um. You know what? Fuck it. I will. It's against my better judgment. Because I just feel like Wolfric's going to turn up in a second and smack it around. But Um... Hi? I'm glad they reduced the bloom. Otherwise, this would be a nightmare to fight on. 
So we're kind of hiding behind a hill here. I thought the cannon wouldn't be able to shoot me, but apparently it can. Looking at this arc, you wouldn't think that would be a particularly good... But, you know, mind you, you, you wouldn't think sailors that have sunk to the bottom of the sea would be using them. So, you know, what the fuck do I know? Meanwhile, our centaurs are currently hiding behind some trees here, trying to dodge some fire. Uh, not very well. So we're going to lure in now. I didn't see these Morngulls. They are currently hidden. I know they had some Morngulls with them. I weren't sure if they were with these guys or whether they were moving around on the flank. Couldn't be sure. Uh, but we're going to advance up the center now because we want to take out this Necrofex Colossus before it starts taking chunks out of me. It's the closest thing in Total War Warhammer 3 to a mech. So, kind of like him. Look, big stompy robots are one of life's great pleasures. I think that's... We can all agree with that. There's, you see a big, big robot stomping around with a big gun, and that just kind of makes you happy. Assuming you're not in its way, obviously, because then that's bad. Harry Jeremy moving down to engage the Necrofex Colossus, but some... Rossing Prometheans get in our way. So we can have to deal with them first. Jural taking a bit of flank fire there. Is, hang on. Don't you normally wear a shirt? Have you taken your shirt off? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Is he, no, no, he's just, he's just wearing a different shirt. He's got a different... Obviously, his stripy one must be, I don't know, in the wash. We will engage Necrofex Colossus, make sure he can't shoot at us. Meanwhile, the Centaurs have engaged the Mongols and also the Gunnery Mob in the trees and are actually doing a right number on them. We've also got the Giant Blooded in there as well. See, the Mongols absolutely just getting sh just destroyed by the Centaurs. The Mongols are kind of a weird unit. They feel, I feel like they should do fairly well um, considering their stats, and yet they never, they just seem to get completely fucked all the time. One of those units where I suspect that their hitbox or their uh, attack box or something is is just working against them. I don't know what that is, but... Meanwhile, one unit of centaurs has broken out from the tree line, is now charging down the deck gunners. Deck gunners getting destroyed. We've got F Fred beating up the cannons, stopping them from shooting, and again, the crew won't be able to deal with her, so they should be easy to dispatch. They are hitting our left flank quite hard, with the rotting Prometheans coming in from behind, surrounding us, and mulching our poor spears, who are desperately trying to hold the line, uh, but struggling somewhat. And we've got the Oracle's Maiden Guards, giant blooded and some of our Oath Sworn defending our center. And then on the right flank, we have the Chosen, who are, of course, hacking their way through anything even slightly nastier. Things like the Rotting Leviathan, which obviously won't be able to be brought down by most of our other, other units. I was trying to get uh, Harry Bob in there, but unfortunately he got interrupted by the Rotting Prometheans, who are slowly being dispatched by him. Uh, we do need him to get in there and knock them out, ideally. Meanwhile, the Necrofax Colossus is being dispatched by more Chosen and the uh, giant blooded who came out from the trees. And our centaurs are now roaming around the battlefield free to do what they want any old time. And that's mostly just mopping up any of the missile units that the vampires had left over. Army losses start taking effect and the enemy army crumbles away due to sadness. Good. Don't don't know why you attacked me. To be honest, I mean you're pirates. I get it. I get it. I get I get I get the fact you're pirates. That's fine. Understood. Um, my main issue here is that pirates wouldn't tend to attack a heavily armed military convoy most of the time. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm sure they'd give it a go occasionally, but 
seems like a a bold move, a bold play, Cotton. How's the public order here? Yeah, not great. Um, I could untax them, but kind of need the money. So uh, enjoy taxation with chaos representation. Right, we've got the surging waste, which means we've got even more garrison. Ish, maybe? Yeah? No, we do. Good. That's fine. We've done that. Um, it still says rampant chaos. Do we, do we need to do it with all of them? Does all do we need all? We all need because I don't really want to knock down the the money building. The money building is keeping me money. I could knock down this building. You want to knock that one down? Would that make you happy? Would it? Silence. Sorry. Just just asking the question. Don't know why I need arcane conjure. We got fuck all winds and magic, but Our still. Hmm. Right, let's get Teacher of the Path and near nee, Friend of Giants. I do like Giants. And it's also going to give me some upkeep reduction because Giants are quite expensive. And we'll basically, we'll pay them less. Battle Wizard. You there, Giant. I'm your friend, aren't I? Uh, yeah. Uh, good. I'm paying you half what I used to. Because we're friends. We're a family here. Oh, not saff, not again. Not these saffery. They're always on it. Are you? Are you getting closer? Just really, just doing it really slowly. You're not sure you actually want to invade, are you? You've turned up. It's a little bit embarrassing now, and you're just slowly edging your way towards the city. Kind of. Oh, hello. Oh, that's a lot of guys. Uh, yeah, I think we might cancel that. I don't, don't think we're going to hold on to that. It's fine. It's fine in two turns. We get two building slots. We can build the money building. Jobs are good. Then I can build the uncovered waste. Do we get... Wait, do, does these do these get uncovered waste stones? Hang on. Uh, no. Okay. So, right. Right. Okay. So we... So we need... We need the un... Right, so we need to uncover the waystones. Right, so it's kind of a thing. On Albion. We're uncovering the waystones. Digging them up. Doing some good old-fashioned archaeology. I love that. That's great. Come. Rest. Come with me. Favored And you'll be... You stand before the Supreme Matriarch once more. In a world... Very well. Of pure imagination. God. Mm, yeah. It's fine. I, I think it's probably best to dig up the waystones on Albion. We might send out little raiding parties just to go and kick the shit out of Wilfred, but I don't think there's any point in building stuff up. Um, particularly when we get... Hello? Uh, settlement garrison. I'm tempted to fight that, but it will be... Will it bug out? I don't know. Is this going to... Is it worth it? Sieges are kind of dull. Ah, fuck it. Sieges aren't kind of dull. Um, right, so they're going to they're just going to attack attack Conquata, which is... Well, no, they won't attack Conquata anymore, will they? They'll attack the settlement that's building the thing. Yeah. Settlement lost. Oh, yeah, no, that's fine. Glenn got a horse. The power of nature is yours. Uh, we'll go with... An inspiring presence. Kind of like his bodyguards. They're all probably eating, you know, bull's testicles together and shit. Mind you, um, I think the Chosen are more like plant monsters, which reminds me of... Fuck, what was the... Hang on, what was the kids' TV show had like a moss monster in it? Shit. Was it the Demon Headmaster? Was it the Demon Headmaster? Was it? That doesn't sound right. Why would the demon headmaster have a moss monster in it? And yet it feels right. God, that's going to do my nuts in now. I'm going to try and find out what the fuck it was. Oh, 
I mean, I know being a demon headmaster is bad, what but you, you do have to beg the question that if someone does have powerful control abilities over other people, why did he pick a school? I mean, I can guess why, but it's deeply concerning, isn't it? Hmm? Anywho. Right, we got that building going on. We got that one. That's fine. Uh, we do We do need the sparring field. Yeah, let's get the sparring field. Sparring field. We'll build up this one as well. Uh, that's fine. I'll get the... We've got the Albion. More Albion Giants would be nice. And we can get the Stone Thrower as well. Also nice. I mean, we can't afford them. But, you know, the idea is nice. Travelling. Do now. I guess once we build this, we'll have more of a garrison here, because it does give more of a garrison. It's not a great garrison. It's it's something. I'm just a little bit concerned. It is closer though. Problem is, it takes a long time to build. Our economy's not amazing. It will be better once we've built that build. So in six turns, we'll be in a better, a little bit of a better place. Uh, more woad gain. Oh, I do want more woad. Replenishment, more growth. That's also quite nice. Uh, avatars of the land, warrior culture. Is there anything which increases the strength of the um, the chosen boys? I guess that'd be somewhere around here, wouldn't it? Any warriors? No. Heroes of Albion? No. Professional warriors? Uh, ah, there we go. Mm, not a huge amount, but 33. Ah, fuck it. Go for it. I hear fuck it. Do it. Um, yeah. Kind of, kind of expected that. We'll see if we can, I feel like we could probably kill that army with our main stack. I'm not, I'm not super cut up about losing it. Just keep stick, stick to the, stick to the place. See, that's not that good an army. I mean, he's got the the skin wolves, but I'm I'm feeling pretty good about that. Give you the woad of thingy majiggy, my, my lad. Mhm. Mm um, what the fuck? Ogham Barrow Whites, mighty kings and warriors of Albion, who have left his mortal plane long ago, still rise up in defence of the sacred resting place and homeland. Um, don't know how I feel about that. Bunch of dead boys. I mean, it's fine. Oh, let's get some doggos. I'm just not entirely sure what I want you to do, madam. What? You just, okay. Tell you what, I'm going to disband you because, to be honest, I don't really know what I was plan. I, I didn't really have. A she was just sailing around aimlessly at that point. You haven't left, have you? Let me guess, your garrison is entirely... Well, it's not entirely healed. Alright, fuck it, let's let's go and take them, because there's probably rich pickings there. Oh, there's some bad puppies on our right flank. Fortunately, I've got the spearmen in the way. Let's get their... Uh, let's, 15 bonus burst large, not bad. And then we've got the Oracle's Maiden Guard, who are basically werewolf killers. Because these guys are weak to fire. These guys have got fire attacks and anti-large. So, basically Buffy the Vampire Slayer, then? Are they, are they? Are they? Is that what they are? They slay us. Well, they're battling the werewolves. So far, so good. The rest of our armies are sort of just watching each other while the engagement on the flank continues as more and more of the enemy army get pulled in to fight. A little bit worried about these brutes of the hound because they are very nasty. I don't think my warband's going to do very well, which is why we've got the giant blooded moving in to help.
However, the skin wolves seem to be uh, dispatched fairly easily. The maiden guards ripping through them. Just, just eight, 18 kills, all werewolves. They did take some losses, uh, but comparatively, very, very light, which means they can continue to sort of hunt down those enemy units. Most of the enemy army now on the move. Those Brutes of the Hound, yep, they are hacking their way through our warriors. Not really much we can do about that, apart from uh, get some help over there. The Giant Blooded, they are fighting spears. I should have sent some more help their way. Because uh, they've got that anti-large. Yeah, they're surrounded by anti-large. And the Giants, well, they're large. That's the thing about the Giants. I mean, they are fucking hench, though, aren't they? I mean, in spite of the Brutes the Hound doing an absolute number on infantry, they are losing... Losing members of their unit as well. We've got cavalry moving around on this flank now. A lot of their army just seems to be piling in on the flank here. Um, I should, probably should have responded to that, but I think at this point I'd actually gone to make a cup of tea. I thought I'd pause the battle, but I hadn't. So, um... Yeah, no, and th then I realised that, oh shit, I should probably do something about this. Came back to get the milk in. Because the milk... The fridge is in my, in my room. Don't ask. It's, it's just where it is. And um, I came to get the milk, realised that, oh shit, I didn't pause it, and then decided to sit down and finish off the battle. Then my tea became overstewed. Um, frankly, it was a fucking disaster. Uh, but eventually I did go and make some more tea, so don't worry. Chasing off the enemy cavalry, and our centaurs are closing the trap. Seeing as the map line is right there, which means it's going to give them very little space to retreat. So we can now use our centaurs to just drag nets up their line. Oof. That's a nasty charge. What the fuck was that? Oh, skin wolves. Alright, fair enough. Just run down there. Their cavalry's trying to run away from our spears. Oh, no. Too late. Too late. You've been caught by the centaurs and that is going to be a fight. This is going to go very one way. It's horsemen v men on horse. Says. I'm a little bit concerned if you see a half man, half horse, and you start lusting in the Dark Prince's name. I'm just... Even Slanesh would probably urge for calm at that point. Just a little bit. The giants were fine. I did take a lot of damage, but they were right. And we finally managed to pin down the, uh, the Brutes of the Hounds. To get picked off, finally. And the rest of the enemy army is on the run. We'll send the centaurs in to pick off as many as we can. Not that we need to, of course, because it's a settlement battle. And they're all dead anyway. Okay, and you... Uh, do I want to... Well... You know what? I'll, I'll keep it. I'll keep it. It's not really worth sacking it. I would like more replenishment, right? Uh, you know what? We'll grab that one and that one. And at some point, I wouldn't mind having a little more than 20 wins of magic. I'm just throwing it out there. It would just... I just feel like it would be a nice... a nice boost. Yeah, it'll, it'll, just a touch, just a just a teensy tiny amount. No, I'm not. Don't want to go insane. I don't want to go mad with it. Is this? Hang on. Uh, da, 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 that one. Does that do? Does hang on? What does this one do? I thought it did something to. Oh, leadership is increased. Right, 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 right. Okay, and that's in the region, isn't it? Not province, but the region. Okay, so we're going to have to build one there as well. Um, so the only building I can... Because I've got the special building, which I kind of want to keep, even though 
It's not really that useful. Um, so I'm going to have to knock this down, which I don't really want to do. But I think it's going to have to be done. Who calls? Regrettably. Do I even want to upgrade Trollfjord? I don't even know if Ulfric's got many armies. I've never... Hello. A negotiation. You've only got five settlements. And you're worth throg. I I genuinely think you sending that army after me is gonna dick you over. I do not think you've got the armies to send. Lord of Brit Do you want to be friends? Are you, wait, are you friends with Hang on, let's have a look at the old strength Duty rankings. Is purpose. Okay, not great. Not great. Yeah, interesting. Where's where's all my friends? Where's Carl? Is Carl alive? Carl? Yeah, you are alive. Alright, good. What the fuck are you? Where are you, Carl? Ca Carl? Ca Carl? I have met you. Be at peace. For that is all I ever strength rank 56. Why the f am I just blind? Yes, apparently I'm just fucking stupid. He's right there. Strength 56. Not very good though, is it? It's not great. It's nice to see that my my BFF is um is doing all right for herself. That's good. She still doesn't want to give me a non-aggression pact though. I'm not sure why. Is she planning to come and kill me? Mm, no. No, if Norsk is secure, maybe. But I've also got, you know, demons to deal with. I've got a whole, whole load of issues to deal with over there. Uh, I want to upgrade you, I guess. We're only three turns away from making That's big money. Replenishment isn't too bad. I mean, I could. Things we've already got some reasonable. I mean, the, the, these cavalry boys are pretty good. They're not amazing, but they're very fast. And if I buff them with more woad, first one. I mean, they they are pretty good. I mean, they got the shitty melee def, melee defense. Got the good weapon strength though. It's not bad. And these guys. I mean, I guess these guys are better than. I could get rid of you. Tell you what, let's let's merge you. Get rid of you. Then we'll get you. And then we'll. Our paths have crossed. Oh hello. Traveling on. Denied. Have I got enough to I will do your ambush? Okay, what the fuck? Right, winds of magic. Why is it so bad? Is is it zero here? Minus one. It's minus ten here. I'm assuming that's because it's Albion and it's just sucking sucking all the winds of magic. The big suck. It's giving me a big suck. Oh, well we did get the ambush. Unfortunate for him. Thought he could sneak in, didn't he? Being a little sneaky sneak. Didn't work out. Didn't work out for him. Uh, what weapon have you got, actually? Okay, we've actually got a crap load. What's the golden shield of the sun? Enables flaming attacks, gives you... Okay, that seems fine. We can give you a talisman of preservation as well. I'll tell you what, a seed of rebirth is better because that just gives you heals, doesn't it? I could give you... No, I'll give you the power stone. It's not really going to help you, but it is what it is. Oh, a trickster's helm. That's even better. I'm going to give that to you. I do like I do I do like flaming attacks. Uh, let's try and fuse these two together and see what we get. Sword of bloodshed. Is the sword of bloodshed any good? Right, what does that do? So that's. 15% weapon strength, 15 armor piercing. That's 6% weapon strength, 12 melee attack. Mm, I do like the melee attack, but it's a lot less. Oh, it's not that much less. You do look at the sundering attacks, though. Which is minus 30 armor, which is just generally useful. 
Hmm. Hmm. Mm, I'm mulling that over. Uh, we don't have any, any enchanted items. Oh, I do quite like the warrior bane. What have you got for a... Oh, you got the regeneration again. That's quite nice. Druid, jade, wizard. Tell you what, you can have the talisman of preservation. I'll do. Uh, we... Oh, I was hoping we'd be able to... To go and take the monolith of Bjorkill bloody hand. Next, or this turn. Well, I'll do it next turn. Never mind. That's fine. What about bodyguard, monster hunter, bonus versus large. You're in a chariot, so it doesn't really help. Leadership is useless. I guess more melee defense. I guess we'll do that. We'll go with that. And we'll go and retake the thingy-majig while we're slowly unearthing pulsing way stones. And two turns from now, we'll have a big, nice payday. I mean, I still don't quite know, because we've got this little debuff here. I don't know what buff we'll get if we unearth all of the stones. It's a bit weird. Um, if we get enough money, though, we can we can build another army here just to, to deal with any invasions. And then that'll leave uh, Dural to just kind of do his own thing. And uh, hopefully sort out Wolfric and maybe even get some Winds of Magic. Maybe. We can, but hope. That, however, is going to have to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.